Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the sum of the measure of interior angles of a polygon. So the main important thing is we need to know our smallest polygon in terms of number of sides. Uh, how many, um, what is the sum of a triangle? And the sum of interior angles of a triangle is going to be 180 degrees. All right. So that's going to be kind of like our given. It doesn't matter what the triangle looks like. It doesn't matter if it's a isosceles like this. It doesn't matter if it's an equilateral, which would be a regular triangle, which we're going to use very often, or if it's a right triangle. All the angles, the sum of all these angles is always going to equal 180 degrees. So we're going to use that definition to help us identify what is going to be the sum of all the um, angles in any type of polygon. And so I'll go and look at um, a rectangle, which would be a quadrilateral, or a regular octagon. And I'll try to do my best creating a regular octagon. Um, but so when you're trying to determine the sum, it doesn't matter if it's regular, meaning all the angles or all the sides are exactly the same. Um, but it does have to be concave. It cannot be a convex polygon. It can only work when it's uh, concave, as far as at least the process that I'm going to show you. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to choose a vertex. And you can see that each where two lines come together, that's going to be a vertex. And it doesn't matter where you choose your um, vertex. But you're going to select the vertex. Then what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line to every other vertex. Well, I already have a line here. So now I'm simply going to draw a line there. Here, I can draw a vertex or a line to this vertex, line to this vertex, line to that vertex, line to that vertex, and a line to that vertex. Now, all I'm simply going to do is count the number of triangles that I have. And you can see here, I have two triangles, 180 degrees, 180 degrees. Here, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So there I have six sides. Now, there's an important thing to kind of notice um, and to understand. So when we look at this, the number of sides is equal to 4. The number of triangles is, is equal to 2. Here, the sides are equal to um, 8. And the triangles is equal to 6. And if you, if you repeat this for all polygons, what you'll notice is the number of triangles related to the sides is always minus 2. So if I was going to say, well, what is the sum then of an n-gon, right? one where we don't know the number of sides, you might not know the number of sides, nor the triangles, but you can say, well, the relationship between those two would be n minus 2. right? If I want to find the number of triangles of an n-gon, I would just take the number of sides and subtract it by 2. Now, to actually find the sum, we know the sum of a triangle is 180. But for the quadrilateral, quadrilateral you have two triangles. So we're, you're simply just adding 180 plus 180, or multiplying the number of triangles times 180 degrees. And that's exactly what we do in this case. And here, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm adding 6, 180, I'm sorry. I'm adding 180 six times, which is the same thing as just multiplying 6 times 180. So here's going to be the expression that we wrote that is explaining what I just said. And this represents the sum. So if I want to find the sum for any polygon, it doesn't matter if it has 5 sides, 10 sides, 11 sides, um, 250 sides. We can always determine the sum of all the interior angles by taking the number of sides, subtracting it by 2, and then multiplying that by 180. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the sum of the measure of your interior angles of a polygon. Thanks.